Welcome to Fantasy Fanfiction. Comprehension is against the heavens. The end of the law turns into a real dragon, shocking the world. Chapter 16. Zhao Qinghe felt a cool air instantly rise from the soles of his feet, reaching into the sky. The skin under the protective clothing was covered with dense goosebumps. His pupils contracted violently, and his heart beat wildly. In an instant, adrenaline was secreted crazily makes his reactions much faster than usual. He saw clearly. The bloody mouth is extremely exaggerated, with a fishy smell that makes people suffocate. I am afraid that even a cow can be swallowed alive. What suddenly appeared in front of me turned out to be a giant python. He didn't have time to think about how this terrifying giant python bypassed his perception and appeared around him. The strength in his body exploded almost instantly. Kakaka. Only the sound of crisp bones exploding was heard. In an instant, Zhao Qinghe, who was originally only 1.6 meters tall, suddenly expanded as if he was blowing air, reaching a height of 2.3 meters. Like a little giant, this is a unique secret technique passed down from his family. Bone stacking skill. The accumulation of practice over time has improved the toughness of the bones to an extremely high level. Normally, the bones can be folded to shrink the body. At a critical moment, the strength explodes, and the body can skyrocket in an instant, even more exaggerated than its normal body size. In this way, powerful power and speed can be unleashed unexpectedly, killing the enemy by surprise. At this time of life and death crisis, his trump card was revealed immediately. The elastic protective clothing was bulging. Drink. Zhao Qinghe's eyes were ferocious, and his right leg was filled with strength. It was as solid and thick as a jade pillar. He exploded with strength and kicked hard towards the python's mouth. Have to say, with the blessing of adrenaline, Zhao Qinghe's strength was even more terrifying than usual. There was a trace of surprise in Su Zan's eyes. After he restrained his aura and touched the area, he quickly discovered that this person must be the strongest leader. He wanted to take him down first, but he didn't expect this person to react so quickly. In particular, Suzan was surprised by the bone stacking skill displayed by this man. But, Suzan did not regret that Zhao Qinghe escaped from his python's mouth. Facing Zhao Qinghe's fierce counterattack, his pupils were full of disdain. Call. The thick python tail swept, and it was drawn towards Zhao Qinghe with unparalleled power. Boom. Only an extremely dull collision sound was heard. The trace of pride on Zhao Qinghe's face instantly solidified, and turned into incomparable horror. His figure was almost blown away instantly, and the violent force even exploded the protective suit in an instant. How can it be? He couldn't believe his eyes. When he saw the giant python swinging its tail, he thought it was stable. After all, what the python is best at is strangulation and entanglement. The power of its blows is not outstanding, but as a dark powerhouse, he can whip out a powerful force with one leg. Comparable to tigers and leopards. No idea. This is the result. His strength is simply vulnerable in front of the giant python. The pain of broken bones caused cold sweat to break out on his forehead. The impact of hitting the tree made his whole body ache, and his bones were groaning. Everyone was shocked. They saw that their boss, the dark powerhouse Zhao Qinghe, was whipped away by the tail of the giant python that suddenly appeared. What are you still doing? Help me! Zhao Qinghe roared angrily. Instead of waiting for the black snake, he caught such a terrifying giant python. It's incredible luck, but he knew that if he didn't deal with the giant python in front of him, in a few days, he and others would probably become a pile of excrement in the jungle. Everyone finally reacted. The masters holding firearms could no longer care about anything else. They picked up their machine guns and started shooting. Kong 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 Kong. Fierce sparks emerged from the machine gun muzzle, and the unique and rhythmic sound of the machine gun resounded through the jungle. Several people looked ferocious as they fired wildly at the giant python. Bullets are pouring out without money. Su Zan's eyes turned cold. The huge body twisted flexibly and at an astonishing speed. With the powerful perception of the dark force that penetrated the pores, it almost avoided all the shots. Only sporadic bullets shot at the corners of the snake scales, which only hit the corners of the snake scales. The snake scales were shot to pieces. Everyone suffocated when they saw this extremely horrific scene. His eyes were full of horror. Giant pythons that are not afraid of machine guns actually exist in reality. 
They just feel like they are fighting jungle monsters in movies. Monster. This is a monster. Someone yelled crazily and started sweeping around irrationally. Taking advantage of the time when Su Zong was temporarily restrained. Lao Li cleverly helped the injured Zhao Qinghei up. Zhao Qinghei barely stood up. One of his legs had been broken. As soon as he gritted his teeth, the strength in his body surged. He used the bone stacking technique to forcibly connect the bones of his right leg. However, this was only a temporary measure and could not last too long, otherwise it would be a disaster later. Completely disabled, unable to be saved by gods. You're so unlucky, where did this monster come from? Zhao Qinghei cursed in a low voice. He saw the giant python wandering in the distance, fearless of machine gun fire, and his eyes unconsciously showed a trace of fear. Lao Li looked at the giant python in the distance. The more he looked at it, the more familiar it became. His pupils suddenly shrank and his voice stuttered. Boss, boss, this, this, seems to be the black snake we are looking for. I can't be mistaken. Although the body shape has changed greatly, the snake scales and pupils are exactly the same as that of the black snake. Lao Li became frightened. He had had close contact with Su Zan, so he had a deep impression. After recognizing it at this time, I felt chilled in my heart. Zhao Qinghei's eyes widened and he couldn't believe it. A short period of time. How could a two-meter black snake suddenly transform into such a terrifying giant python? This is completely unscientific. But now is not the time to dwell on that. Grass. Must catch it. I will attract its firepower later, and you will support it with machine guns, prepare snake nets, and prepare maximum doses of tranquilizer guns. Zhao Qinghei yelled. Arrange the strategy. But he didn't know that the giant python opposite had a human soul and could understand it completely. Su Zan sneered in his heart. He couldn't give the opponent a chance to form an organization, that would be a bit troublesome. At this time, the firepower of the machine gun fire from the opposite side finally reached the vacuum period. The opportunity has come. His python bone shook violently, and his already astonishing speed surged again. Su Zan was like a black lightning bolt, approaching those people in an instant, his vertical pupils full of cruelty without any mercy. There was no room for maneuver between him and these people. Only one side will stand in the end. Call. The python's tail swung like a giant whip. The terrifying power exploded. How could a few humans who had not even stepped into Ming Jin resist it? The cry for help didn't even have time to come out. Almost in the blink of an eye. Every living human being was blasted into pieces, the protective clothing exploded, and balls of bloody flesh exploded, spraying everywhere in the jungle, extremely cruel. The remaining people looked at this scene in horror, their hearts beating wildly. My hands and feet were shaking. Unable to resist retching. Monkey. Old horse. Skinny dog. The mournful roars of the dead rabbit and the fox echoed through the mountains and forests, but there was not much time left for them. Those cold and heartless snake eyes had fallen on them. The bloody massacre has just begun. Those are such cruel and cold-blooded pupils. Anyone who looked into those cold eyes could not help but feel trembling and fear. Their saliva was instinctively secreted in large quantities, and they forcibly suppressed the trembling of their bodies. Everyone was horrified by the scene in front of them. Including Xu Xiqing. That's right. Just when the battle suddenly broke out, the camera sensor on Zhao Qinghei had already transmitted what had just happened back to the underground base. At this time, Xu Xiqing looked at the dark giant python on the big screen, her eyes full of shock. A short period of time. A two-meter-long black snake has evolved into an exaggerated existence like a ten-meter python, not to mention such a terrifying fighting power. Exceptionally fast, amazing defense, terrifying strength, and even a certain amount of wisdom, knowing how to sneak attack. This is definitely the most perfect evolutionary species. After Xu Xiqing was horrified, her eyes were filled with enthusiasm. She looked at Su Zan's smooth and perfect body obsessively, as if looking at a flawless work. After three years in the underground base, numerous experiments were conducted, large and small, but there had never been such a perfect mutant. You must catch it. You must. My baby, as long as I get you, I can evolve you to be more powerful, and maybe even make you become the legendary beast, Yamata no Orochi. Shu Shiqing's enthusiastic face was deformed. 
If she can really do it, the Xu family will definitely become an extremely brilliant existence under her leadership in the future. Zhao Qinghe, you must bring it back to me, you must. Xu Xiqing's voice penetrated into Zhao Qinghe's ears through the censor. The determination and enthusiasm made Zhao Qinghe's face freeze, and he couldn't help cursing in his heart. You crazy woman, I'm going to die for catching some stupid snake. He had no time to respond to Xu Xiqing. Because the pressure was too great, cold sweat continued to drip from his forehead. The giant python on the opposite side pulled out its tail, and another person was violently blasted. This time it was even more terrifying, and his head exploded directly in midair. It's like a flesh and blood bomb. Scarlet blood and brains were scattered on everyone, stimulating everyone's nerves. Zhao Qinghe roared angrily. His body faintly grew taller again, and he took the initiative to angrily rush towards Suzan. Being cowardly at this time is no different from committing suicide. The secret energy in his body exploded, and Zhao Qinghe, who was like a little giant, looked extremely powerful, even competing with the Bengal tiger that Su Zan met before, and his body jumped out with fierce wind. If it was before, maybe it can barely hinder Su Zan. But now, Su Zan's strength has skyrocketed both physically and in martial arts, and Zhao Qinghe has not been taken seriously by him at all. If he didn't want to expose all his strength, Su Zan could kill Zhao Qinghe instantly the first time. He knows. Such an arresting team will inevitably carry a camera device with them. His actions at this time may have fallen into the eyes of the person in charge of the base. He needs to keep keeping his trump cards in order to live a better life. Whoosh! Su Zan's body was like electricity, winding through it. He ignored Zhao Qinghe at all and decided to deal with the remaining people first. Tools such as machine guns, tranquilizer bombs, smoke bombs, and snake nets are still particularly annoying. The python's tail twitched with terrifying force, sending Zhao Qinghe flying back again. No more obstacles. Su Zan is like a tiger among sheep. The body of the python is rolled up. The two people were immediately entangled in the slender body. They didn't even need to use death strangulation. With just a slight exertion, the two people were instantly crushed into meat patties by the huge force and squeezed out from the middle. It was like a piece of plastic being crushed from the middle by a hydraulic iron column, turning into strips and extruding from the surroundings. The remaining two people were full of horror, including old Lee. Su Zan remembers him. This man was very arrogant back then. Boss, save me. Lao Li panicked and asked for help. The black python's tail came out like lightning, and with howling wind, it penetrated the protective suit like an electric drill. The special protective suit that could withstand light firearms was unable to stop the python's tail at all. Lao Li's heart was instantly penetrated. His eyes were round and his hands and feet were stiff. He didn't have time to say anything. Then with a flick of the python's tail, Lao Li's body fell apart and turned into lumps of meat that splashed down into the jungle. The last subordinate had never seen such a tragic scene. It was like a hell shira field. He completely lost his mind and roared to fight for his life. But Su Zan's python tail swung and hit him on the head. It was easily smashed into meatloaf. So far, a 10-person snake catching team. Only Zhao Qinghe was left. The originally chaotic jungle became much quieter in an instant. Zhao Qinghe reluctantly got up from the ground and confronted Su Zan several times, finally making him understand that his strength was not at the same level as the monster in front of him. Looking at the hell scene around him, there were flesh and blood mutilations everywhere, it was extremely terrifying. Even if he had been in a chaotic place like an underground boxing ring, he felt very disgusted at this time. The fear in his heart couldn't stop spreading. All his men died. It is impossible to defeat the monster in front of you alone. Zhao Qinghe, run away quickly. You are no match for the Black Emperor. Run back to the base. I need your first-hand information. Xu Xiqing's voice sounded through the censor. Black Emperor is the code name she just gave Su Zan. Such a perfect evolutionary species is much more terrifying than the so-called king type. This is the true emperor among snakes, so it is called the Black Emperor. She looked at the bloody scene on the screen without any reaction. She only cares about her Black Emperor. It's a pity that Zhao Qinghe is also a waste. Zhao Qinghe breathed a sigh of relief. Although he was not concerned about his own safety, 
he could just let himself escape. He glanced at Suzan opposite him hatefully. Power poured into his legs, and he rushed towards the distance like thunder. As a strong person with dark strength, he is not afraid of his endurance. Can't beat it. Can't you run away on your own? Su Zan looked at Zhao Qinghe running wildly and couldn't help but sneer. The reason why Zhao Qinghe was left at the end was that he didn't want to reveal too much strength, and he was very interested in his secret bone technique, which might bring different inspiration to Su Zan. Naturally, he would not let such an important prey slip away. The power was working quietly, and Su Zan meandered silently among the tree trunks and shrubs, as fast as a black line flashing. Zhao Qinghe buried his head and ran wildly. Hearing that there was no movement behind him, he subconsciously looked back and saw that there was nothing there. He thought that the Black Emperor Python had been thrown away by him, so he couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. But when I turned around and came back, I can't help but feel the souls of the dead. I saw that the giant python did not know when it reached the tree trunk above my head. Ah. He screamed and felt that his body was already entangled by the python's tail, and the terrifying python's head slowly fell in front of his eyes and looked at him. The suffocating feeling of horror made him want to go crazy. Seeing this scene, Xu Xiqing couldn't help but cursed angrily. Trash, trash. In this way, she would not be able to get first-hand information about the Black Emperor. Just relying on the video would not be so comprehensive. But right away, she was stunned. There was deep disbelief in his eyes. On the big screen, the giant python's indifferent eyes slowly moved downwards, as if they had penetrated the space and were looking at him. It. Heidi found the camera sensor. How is this possible? Xu Xiqing was completely stunned. This is undoubtedly a scene that goes against common sense. Even if the Black Emperor has simple wisdom, he should have no idea about things in the human world. She hoped she was wrong. But right away. Her fantasy was shattered. With a violent blow, the picture on the big screen fluctuated for a while, and then went out completely. One experimenter said in horror. Supervisor, the sensor. Dot the sensor is destroyed. Within the hall, there was silence. The scene where Su Zan massacred the snake catching team just now was seen by everyone. They were not scientific madmen like Xu Xiqing, and they had already felt fear in their hearts. If it weren't for the screen, they would have burst into tears. But at this time, with the sensor being destroyed, everyone couldn't help but fall into instinctive panic. Because they, the scientific researchers, know what this means better than anyone else. Wisdom. Far beyond their imagination. Being able to see through human camera sensors and even destroy them is obviously not something that simple intelligence can do. Especially after those cold, vertical pupils looked through the screen just now. They instantly felt cold all over, as if the giant python could know that someone was observing them here. And, whether it was an illusion or not, they even vaguely saw humanized sarcasm in the pupils of the giant python. Color. Supervisor, what should I do? How about deploying heavy firepower to kill this monster? Some researchers couldn't help but suggest. They were really panicked. When human beings' unique superpower, wisdom, seems likely to appear on other species, and this creature is so bloodthirsty and brutal, they instinctively want to kill it. Xu Xiqing, who was staring blankly at the dark screen, reacted instantly. Her voice was sharp and she slapped the person who spoke on the face. The horror and fear that had just risen in her heart instantly dissipated. How dare you? The Black Emperor is the hard work of all of us, he is our child. Her voice gradually became full of enthusiasm, and she watched the playback of the video obsessively. Look, the Black Emperor is so perfect, with its flexible body, tough scales, strong strength, cold and cruel, cunning and cunning, it even possesses extremely high wisdom. This is a gift given to us by the Creator. Quote. You see, it secretly learned so many things at the base. As long as we bring it back, guide and control it properly, and use it as a model, we will definitely be able to create a truly epic making creature. By then, it may have changed the entire world. Xu Xiqing's face was flushed and she had entered a state of madness. I don't allow it. I definitely don't allow anyone to have the idea of harming the Black Emperor. He is a smart child. Maybe, we can negotiate with him. Xu Xiqing's muttering shocked everyone. Negotiating with a python. What a ridiculous reality this is. 
But Xu Xiqing had already started to take action, and she rang the phone she had not contacted for a long time. Comma. At the same time, deep in the jungle, Zhao Qinghe looked at the scene in front of him with the same horror. The fearful python tail fell with a strong wind. He even closed his eyes subconsciously, thinking that he was going to die on the spot. But the imagined death did not come. He opened his eyes in confusion. Pupils widened to their maximum size. Only then did he realize that the python's target was not him at all, but the camera sensor on his shoulder. This. Dot how is this possible? Zhao Qinghe was shocked. No matter how stupid he is, he still knows what it means. He looked subconsciously. He happened to face those indifferent snake eyes. At this moment, the sarcasm and teasing in those snake eyes were not concealed at all. Zhao Qinghe was trembling all over. Su Zan looked at the prey in front of him. There is no need to hide oneself in front of a mortal person. You. Dot you can understand me, right? Zhao Qinghe said intermittently. The contraction of the python's body made him very uncomfortable, and he was extremely reluctant to speak. But at this moment, he just wanted to confirm his inner guess. He stared at the giant python in front of him, and his heart was filled with turmoil. Su Zan just stared at him indifferently. On the python's body, dark energy suddenly emerged. The force hit Zhao Qinghe instantly and completely broke his psychological defense, making his soul sluggish. Your Majesty, Emperor Junwu, what on earth did I see? A python has actually mastered the dark energy in Chinese martial arts. He felt chills in his heart. This moment, all the mysteries are solved. No wonder this giant python is so fast and powerful. At first, he just felt something was wrong, thinking that this mutated giant python was just gifted, but now it seems that it is actually a giant python that has practiced Chinese martial arts. What's even more terrifying is, the giant python just now had obviously been consciously hiding his martial arts. It wasn't until the camera sensor was destroyed that it was completely exposed. Xu Xiqing, what kind of terrifying monster have you created? Zhao Qinghe was shocked. No, I must spread the news. He had a premonition that if it was not killed in advance, this monster would grow into a terrifying existence in the future, and it might become an enemy of mankind. This is the thought. The energy in Zhao Qinghe's body was running wildly, and he could only hear the cracking of bones. His muscular body, which was originally more than 2 meters tall, seemed to be leaking air, and instantly shrank to only 1.56 meters. This is the secret technique of stacking bones. The body shrunk, and a large gap immediately appeared in the originally entangled body of the giant python. However, Zhao Qinghe didn't have time to jump out yet. He felt that the extremely flexible python body was entangled again, giving him almost no time to react, as if it had been waiting for him to use the secret technique of stacking bones. He looked at those snake eyes and could feel the amusement in them becoming more and more obvious, as if he was looking at a clown. That's right, Su Zan was indeed waiting for Zhao Qinghe to use the bone stacking technique. But it wasn't to tease Zhao Qinghe, he didn't have the spare time but to understand the mystery of the bone stacking skill at close range through force. Su Zan is very interested in this secret technique and wants to learn from it and create a secret technique that suits him. His python body was entangled, dark energy was surging, and his keen perception was shrouded, and he could completely sense the changes in the energy and bones in Zhao Qinghe's body. Under the force, the bones folded in a magical way. Not only that. Even the flesh and blood shrink and solidify in equal proportions, which is extremely miraculous. In an instant, waves of understanding came to my mind. Su Zan's pupils are much brighter. He slightly let go of the python's body. Zhao Qinghe, who was about to suffocate, once again used the bone stacking technique to expand his body, and quickly breathed in fresh air. Su Zan's perception became clearer. Using Zhao Qinghe as a model, he began to think about how to apply this secret technique from a human body to his own snake body. All kinds of insights came to my mind. His thoughts are jumping in an extremely exaggerated way. This is the power of his heaven-defying understanding. Zhao Qinghe was constantly forced to perform the bone stacking technique, and his body sometimes expanded and sometimes contracted, which was extremely frustrating. Original. He thought it was just the cruel instinct of animals wanting to play a trick on him. 
But as time passed, and after noticing the magical changes in the giant python in front of him, he became completely stunned. This giant python is secretly learning his bone stacking technique. Suzan suddenly had a flash of inspiration in his mind, gathered countless inspirations, and finally succeeded. Comma. You observe the skeletal secrets of human beings who are strong in dark power, and through continuous experiments, you clarify the principle of folding bones. You further combine it with dual strength, and you can apply it to the snake body. You create a body with the secret skills of snakes. Close black lens bracket. A wishful body. This is the secret technique that Suzan created after observing and practicing the bone stacking kung fu. The function is also very simple. It's not much different from the bone stacking skill. You can shrink your body by folding your snake bones and flesh, but the effect is much more powerful than the bone stacking skill. Now if Suzan uses Rui body, he can shrink to up to one half of its original size. That is to say, as long as he wants to, he can immediately transform into a python of about 5 meters. Then the flesh, flesh and scales all over his body will be extremely tight, his defense will be extremely strong, and his speed will also increase a lot. And if it is used in the direction of expansion, it can increase by 70%. That is to say, Suzan can now turn himself into a terrifying python up to 17 meters long by inflating his flesh and blood. Although Suzan's defense and speed are slightly reduced in this state, his power is even more terrifying, more than doubled. Suzan was delighted. I am very satisfied with the secret technique I created. Originally, he just wanted to create a secret technique that could shrink his body, so that if he met someone from the underground base next time, he could disguise himself and attack them unprepared. I didn't expect that the Rui body created was so powerful. Far beyond my expectations. Not only that, the current Rui body is not in its ultimate state, because all the bones in my body have not been adjusted. If I make conscious adjustments next, the shrinkage and surge will be even more terrifying. If one day, you can really be as big and small as you want, advance like a thousand meter giant python, and retreat like an earthworm, then that will be the real magical power. Suzan had some longing in his heart. But he also knew it. The secret technique I created is far from qualified as a magical power. Because it is essentially still the use of flesh and bones, and at most it is the addition of strength to play a mediating role. If one day he can develop the legendary demon power and magic power, then he will be a true supernatural power. Although these people often talk about the Dharma ending era. However, Suzan believes that if he can practice Chinese martial arts to a higher level and rely on his heaven-defying understanding, he may not be able to find a way out. Suzan was excited about creating a wishful body, while Zhao Qinghe was completely frightened. He looked at the scene before him. My eyes are about to pop out. I saw that the body of this giant python was constantly moving. After a period of cracking bones, it actually shrank a lot. This is clearly his own bone stacking skill. But. Dot how is this possible? In a short period of time, this giant python learned the family secret technique that I had practiced for 20 to 30 years. And looking at this situation, it is obvious that his achievements are much higher than his own. Even if such a martial arts genius appeared among humans, he would definitely be called a peerless monster, let alone a python. Zhao Qinghe couldn't believe it and murmured to himself. Oh my god, what kind of terrifying monster is this? This moment, he finally understood. Why does a python have such a superb state of martial arts and such terrifying understanding? It is natural for him to master human martial arts. Zhao Qinghe's mouth was full of bitterness. He looked in the direction of the base, as if he saw the end of the base. Xu Xiqing, what kind of existence have you created? You will regret it. But there was no more time for him to regret. After creating Rui's body, Zhao Qinghe has lost his final use value, and Suzan will naturally not keep him anymore. Suzan sneered while listening to Zhao Qinghe's silly muttering. Then the python body exerted force instantly. The double force exploded fiercely. Death Stranding. After just one breath, Zhao Qinghe was instantly strangled into a ball of flesh and bones, and his bones were twisted into dregs. This is Suzan's true strength. If he really goes all out, a dark powerhouse like Zhao Qinghe can't do anything. It's just an instant kill. It's just that he needs to always keep some trump cards for himself. 
because he knew that an existence like his would never be tolerated by humans. As a human in his previous life, he knew the bad nature of human beings. If he is not of my species, his heart will be different. Human beings will never trust his existence. Therefore, Suzan will always keep his trump card to deal with murderous intentions that come from nowhere. Until one day, you can truly be invincible in the world. Suzan looked up to the sky and hissed. Vent out the murderous intent and heroic spirit in your heart. It wasn't until he gradually felt better that he looked at the mess in the jungle. Now, it's harvest time. He has not forgotten that these people used RT snake genetic fluid to lure him out. Now that the enemy is dealt with, it's naturally time to enjoy the spoils. He needs to seize every opportunity to become stronger and evolve at a speed that others cannot imagine, so that he can always have the upper hand. Suzan became excited and began to clean the battlefield. Comma. After a while, in a cave, Suzan looked at the three bottles of genetic fluid in front of him and felt a little sad. The one that hurt was naturally the bottle that was wasted because he lured him out, even though he swallowed all the leaves and trunks contaminated with the genetic fluid. But it is only part of the stop loss. After such a long time, most of it has evaporated. Fortunately, there are still three bottles left. Last time, two bottles of genetic fluid made me grow from 2 meters to 8 meters. Now these three bottles are a little more. I wonder how much I can grow. Suzan's heart became hot. There was no hesitation. He swallowed these three bottles of genetic fluid. In an instant, the rich energy exploded in the body, extremely violent, tearing away at every inch of flesh and blood in Suzan's body. The familiar feeling came again, and the feeling of violent growth made him unable to stop. Suzan concentrated his attention, the central snake bone continued to vibrate, and his body began to rise and fall rhythmically with his breathing. His current snake bone vibration breathing method has also been adjusted more and more perfectly, and the effect is even greater than when it was first created. At this time, under the guidance of oscillatory breathing, the whole body's energy continued to circulate, and the originally violent biological energy was immediately guided correctly, and was continuously integrated into Suzan's flesh and blood, bones, scales, poison sacs and other vital parts. In the cave, a rhythmic humming sound continued. With a vague coercion, the beasts in the jungle dare not approach at all, as if there is a terrifying threat there. Suzan began to evolve at a ferocious speed. Flesh and blood constantly exploded on the body surface, and the snake scales tore, but they began to heal at an alarming speed, and the entire growth process was accelerated countless times. Suzan is conscious and conscious. Feeling the changes in his body, he marveled at the magic of creatures. At the same time, he constantly observed the changes in his scales, poison sacs, and bones, and then continued to adjust and optimize several snake secret techniques he created. Time passes slowly. Don't know how long it has been. The genetic fluid in Suzan's body was finally consumed, and evolution gradually stopped. Suzan at this time. Transform again. In the cave. A truly behemoth appears. Suzan's body size has skyrocketed again. It has suddenly reached the terrifying level of 16 meters. Compared with the previous growth, it has increased by 60%. Although it is only a growth of 6 meters, you must know that the further you go, the more difficult it will be to grow. And later on, when the body grows by 1 meter, the improvement will become more and more obvious. Both strength and physical strength will be greatly improved. 16 meters. If placed in the human world, it would even be as high as a 6-story building. Extremely terrifying. Today's Suzan, if he were placed in ancient times, would definitely be regarded as a real monster. Such giant pythons are rare in the world. The largest titanoboa in recorded history, the best among them was nothing more than that. Not to mention, Suzan has an advanced level of martial arts, masters various martial arts secrets, and is terrifyingly powerful in combat. Just in terms of strength. Now Suzan can even overturn war machines such as tanks and armored vehicles. Suzan was extremely happy. He was extremely satisfied with his changes. His pupils stared at his body. I saw that the blood lines on the dark snake scales have become more and more conspicuous, which is a sign of further optimization of the flesh and blood scales. His current defense is also extremely strong, without any shortcomings. Not only that. 
During the physical optimization of the entire process, the poison sacs and bones have also been improved. At this time, Rui's body is even more powerful. If used to expand the body, it can expand by 80%. With Su Zan's current body size, which is close to 30 meters, it is terrifying. Just thinking about Su Zan makes me feel excited. But what concerned him the most was the change in the poison sack. During this period of evolution, Suzan has been consciously guiding in the direction of the poison sack. He has always felt that the method of extending the fangs to inject venom is too inefficient, so it is more useful in one-on-one -on -one situations. He lacks certain means of group attack. Now, finally, it has achieved initial results. The huge poison sack in the body stores the terrifying suffocating poison, and the poison sack has been optimized for the injection route. From now on, Suzan can not only inject venom through his fangs, but he can also spray venom directly from his mouth. The poisonous mist formed in this way is extremely corrosive and toxic, and its lethality is astonishing. Very good. My strength now has increased several times compared to before. Even when faced with armored vehicles and tanks loaded with heavy firepower, I can knock them away. The threat to me from the underground base is finally not that great. Suzan felt full of security in his heart. These days, I have been walking on thin ice, but now I can finally breathe a sigh of relief. But, he won't slack off either. The conflict between him and the underground base has not yet been resolved. One of the two parties must fall before it finally ends. Suzan needs various resources in the underground base to help him go further. Whether it's treasures like genetic fluid or other more information about the age of ending law, he needs it. But, although Suzan is not too worried about the threat of the underground base now, he still will not rush back hastily. Who knows if there are more deadly weapons or more powerful masters inside. He acts decisively, but he is not reckless. I need stronger strength to be safe enough. Set a small goal, grow to at least 20 meters, and break through the state of martial arts to the level of energy. This way, you can basically be sure of success. Suzan secretly made up his mind. Traveling towards another area. He knew that if he killed Zhao Qinghei and others, Xu Xiqing would definitely not give up and would probably send more powerful firepower to capture him. However, this is exactly what Suzan wants. What he revealed before was the bait. Now, it depends on whether Xu Xiqing will bite the hook. If you come, it would be better to bring some genetic fluid to make it even more perfect. Suzan was looking forward to it. I can't wait to give Xu Xiqing a big surprise. Outside the base, in the jungle, he is fearless. In the underground base, Xu Xiqing finally dialed the number she had not contacted for a long time. After a few beeps, the screen flickers. A majestic middle-aged man appeared on the screen. He looked at Xu Xiqing with a complicated expression. Xiqing, you are finally willing to find your second uncle. Xu Xiqing pursed her lips and said nothing. The middle-aged man had no choice but to continue to persuade. Shi Qing, you have to know that your father is not to blame for what happened back then. Shi Yu is indeed more qualified than you to study at the Supernatural Law Enforcement Bureau. That's enough, Shu Zonggung, I don't want to hear the name Shu Xiu. Shu Shi Qing suddenly lost her temper, like an angry lion. The thunder runner across from him fell silent and sighed secretly. He knew that Xu Xiqing's extreme personality was inseparable from his elder brother's decision back then. He felt guilty. The dignified Grandmaster Huijing was not angry at being called by his first name. Okay Xiqing, it's rare to talk to your second uncle, don't lose your temper. Did you encounter any trouble? If you have any questions, just tell your second uncle and he will definitely help you. Xu Zonggung changed the topic. Xu Xiqing nodded silently. Xu Zonggung said quickly, Did the Sakura people bully you? My second uncle told you a long time ago that when you come back to practice Chinese martial arts with your second uncle, the little snakes you have developed are not as good as what my second uncle can fight by himself. When Xu Xiqing heard the other party belittle her research results, her eyes widened and she was about to get angry again. Xu Zonggung, who was opposite, quickly begged for mercy. Okay. Okay, I won't say anything, just say it. Xu Xiqing snorted coldly. See for yourself, the little snake I studied is not a waste. Said. A shared video has been passed on. In the video screen. 
A black figure shuttled through the jungle like lightning, causing a bloody storm from time to time. Xu Zonggang was a little confused and didn't take it seriously at first, but when he looked carefully, his pupils shrank. The shadow is not human, but a giant python about 10 meters long. Under the slaughter of the giant python, every human being was beaten into mincemeat, and machine gun fire could not do anything to it. Not only that, there was even an engine master on the field, and he recognized that person, Zhao Qinghei, who was well known in the martial arts world. However, this Zhao Qinghei was far from the python's opponent, and the power gap was extremely huge. When the last scene ended, I didn't know whether Zhao Qinghei was dead or not, but judging from the behavior of the giant python entangling Zhao Qinghei at the end, it was probably a disaster. Xu Zonggang put away the contempt in his heart and looked solemnly. Xi Qing, is this a monster you created? He secretly compared it in his mind. This giant python may already have the strength of a human Wajin master. It is definitely an extremely powerful monster. Even, like monsters recorded in ancient books. Both strength and wisdom. In this Dharma ending era, such existences are absolutely rare, much rarer than human transformation energy. Xu Xiqing snorted coldly. It's not a monster, it's the Black Emperor, a miracle of the Creator. Second uncle, you saw that the Black Emperor has evolved extremely perfectly. His powerful strength and extraordinary wisdom make him extremely special. Based on it, give me a certain amount of time, and I will create an unprecedentedly powerful existence. Even, replicate it and create thousands of such powerful beings. Xu Xiqing's voice became increasingly enthusiastic. Even Xu Zonggang felt his heart slow down for a beat. He has always looked down on biological experiments like Sakura countries and thought it was just a waste of time, but now it seems that maybe it is not. If an existence like that giant python could be recreated, it is definitely an extremely powerful force. Xu Zonggang said in a deep voice. What do you need Uncle Er for? Xu Xiqing's voice was firm. I want you to help me bring the Black Emperor back. Hear Xu Xiqing's words. Xu Zonggang was not surprised. He calculated the strength of the giant python in the picture and felt that he could defeat it. The master of human transformation. He is almost at the pinnacle of martial arts. At this stage, his strength is integrated and reaches the bone marrow. Even his tongue, teeth and even hair can burst out with powerful force. The internal organs are clean and tidy, and the bone marrow is full. They can even live for 150 years and maintain peak combat power until death. It can be called a superman level existence. Thermal weapons such as ordinary pistols and submachine guns are no longer a threat to Hua Jin. To deal with such an existence, tanks or armored vehicles must be deployed. As for transforming energy and going up, it's called Danjin. The entire martial arts world can be counted on one hand, and they are all old monsters that have never been born before. In ancient times, he was a godlike figure on land. Xu Zonggang shook his head and took back his thoughts. No problem, second uncle can bring it back and give it to you. Don't worry, it is no match for second uncle. But you have to help me find its location. Unexpectedly, Xu Xiqing shook her head slightly. No, second uncle, I want you to negotiate with the Black Emperor on my behalf. Negotiation. Xu Zonggang was a little shocked. Dealing with a python, he almost thought he heard wrongly. Xu Xiqing solemnly said, Second uncle, don't underestimate Black Emperor. He is much smarter than you think. I urgently analyzed all the information about the Black Emperor just now. He must have awakened wisdom a long time ago, but he has been deliberately hiding himself until he found a chance to escape. I suspect that what is shown in this picture is not all of his strength. It is very likely that he is on par with you, my second uncle. Xu Zonggang felt a little weird. This is not all the strength. You can't be stronger than yourself. Hey Emperor has learned a lot about humans, but it's not systematic. If possible, I think it's best to negotiate with him first. I am his creator and his mother. If he is willing to come back and cooperate with my experiment, the effect will be better, and he will evolve more perfectly. I will teach him everything about the human world. When it comes to the experiment, Xu Xiqing is particularly excited. After Zhao Qinghei and others were massacred, she was thinking about how to bring the Black Emperor back. In the end, she felt that she should negotiate first and then use violence if it was not possible. 
In her opinion, this is the most appropriate way. The Black Emperor, who possesses extremely high wisdom, needs to be treated in a special way. Quote dot 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 quote. Xu Zonggang was silent, and then slowly spoke after a moment. Xi Qing, are you sure such a cruel and bloodthirsty monster can negotiate? In the screen, the scene of the giant python lashing out and beating the human warrior to pieces is still vivid in my mind. He felt a little tricky. Very dangerous, Xu Xiqing argued. That's different. When animals feel threatened, they will arouse their ferocity. If we show enough sincerity and kindness, Black Emperor will not do this. In fact, she also regretted that if she had known that Black Emperor was so wise, she would not have hastily sent Zhao Qinghe and the others to arrest him. Second uncle, you are not safe on your own. I know you know a master who practices snake fist. He will definitely be interested in Black Emperor. Furthermore, I am willing to let him observe many of my experimental products at close range to improve his martial arts. If you join forces, there will be nothing wrong. Even if negotiations fail, you can bring the Black Emperor back together. Second uncle, help me. Xu Xiqing's voice had a rare hint of pleading. Xu Zonggang instantly softened his heart. He sighed and said, Okay, you girl, you've even plotted against your second uncle's best friend. He does have a good friend, Grandmaster Li Wanshan, who is known as the Iron Python's legs, and his strength is still higher than his own. The martial arts he practices are inspired by pythons. If he were to know about such a strange giant python, he would definitely be interested. Xu Xiqing even said this, knowing that she was bound to win. If she didn't help, I don't know what extreme measures she would resort to. Xu Zonggang's mind was spinning, and he finally nodded slowly and said. Give me three days and I'll bring Wan Shan with me. Xu Xiqing was overjoyed. Thank you, uncle. The two masters took action, and this time they were almost certain. Although she has always believed that technology is king in the age of ending law, she still highly recognizes the strength of master level experts. Take your own underground base as an example. If five or six masters join forces, they may all fall. But, it would only be possible if several masters died. Xu Xiqing has already begun to think about how to conduct the next experiment after bringing the Black Emperor back. With so many biological testing bases, I, Xu Xiqing, will be the ultimate winner. There was a burning fire in her eyes. Comma. In the jungle. In a wide river, a figure was as fast as black lightning, suddenly burst out of the entanglement, and then a crocodile was swallowed by the black figure. It only struggled for two or three seconds before the situation gradually calmed down. When the black shadow gradually emerged from the water, I realized that it turned out to be an extremely terrifying giant python. This is the first river Suzanne has discovered in so many days. A lot of prey was caught in the middle. He has grown a lot, and now his body is steadily moving towards the height of 17 meters. Suzan now. There are no natural enemies at all. He is the real overlord of the jungle. The so-called giant tigers, wolves, pythons, and giant crocodiles are just food in his belly. After all, the beasts bred in this primeval forest also have their limits. I wonder if there are any beasts in the Amazon primeval forest that can rival me. Even if there are, they should be very few. But there must be some in the deep sea. Suzan thought silently in his heart. Above the blue star, humanity is the absolute overlord and has basically conquered all land. But in the ocean, especially those unknown deep sea areas, human footprints have not yet set foot in it, and no one knows how many deep sea behemoths there are. Although Suzan is confident, he is not arrogant. He is still just on the road to evolution. If he is strong enough in the future, he will naturally go to the deep sea to find out. But now, he had something more important to do. That's the idea of sound waves. Reborn as a snake without vocal organs, the various sounds he now makes are actually achieved through muscle vibrations. And now, he wanted to go one step further and simulate speaking through muscle vibrations, to the point where he could speak human words, or even go one step further and send out a violent sonic attack. This will inevitably become another fatal trump card for him. Suzan has already begun to prepare for a counterattack on the underground base. If he can understand the sonic attack, he can interfere with electronic equipment or even destroy it. This is of self-evident importance to Suzan. It's not easy to understand sonic attacks. 
starting a few days ago. Suzan had already begun to wonder that pythons had no vocal organs, so he began to observe other beasts. The roar of the giant tiger had left a deep impression on him. Unparalleled power. It can even shake fallen leaves. Although it did not reach the level of sonic attack, it was still enough to shock the soul. Hiss. The terrifying giant python raised its head to the sky and hissed. It could be clearly heard that Suzan's hiss this time was no longer just a quick and subtle hiss like before, but had a bit of a harsh and sharp taste. Inside him, the muscles are constantly vibrating, and he is becoming more and more able to control them with his dark strength. Suzan's heart kept rising with insights. These days, he listened to the howls of wild wolves, the roars of orangutans, and the roars of tigers. He even captured wild beasts at close range to observe the vibrations of their organs when they made sounds. Suzan wanted to observe all kinds of animals, find patterns in their vocalizations, and then continuously optimize them to create real sonic attacks. Ended with a long hiss. Suzan was not particularly satisfied. It's not enough. If you want to reach the level of sonic attack that can capture people's hearts and even interfere with electronic equipment, you need to continue to strengthen it. Just relying on ordinary vibrations is not enough. Perhaps I can observe the way animals like bats and chameleons vibrate their sounds. Finally, if we integrate the operation of force into it, we should be able to succeed. An idea suddenly came to Suzan's mind, and the more he thought about it, the more excited he became. His python body jumped and immediately shuttled towards the distance, eager to test it out. At the same time, in the underground base, Xu Shiqing rarely walked outside the first door, making many of her subordinates curious. Soon, all the doubts in their hearts were cleared. All I could see was the distant sky. A helicopter quickly appeared in everyone's sight from far to near, and then slowly landed. Xu Shiqing's pretty face, as cold as ice, forced out a smile and greeted her. Second uncle, you are finally here. Two figures jumped off the helicopter one after another. There is one person at the forefront who does not get angry and is proud of himself, it is Xu Zonggang, the thunder rusher. The other person, with a slightly gloomy expression and a pair of eyes that made people dare not look closely at him, was the most eye-catching thing about his pair of thick and powerful thighs. It was none other than Iron Python Legs Li Wanshan. Both of them are majestic masters of Wajin, Taishan Beidou in the world of martial arts. Li Zonggung laughed and said, We agreed on three days, but my second uncle was not late. Shi Qing has met Grand Master Li. Li Wanshan nodded slightly. He came here, firstly, to give Shu Zonggung face, and secondly, because he was interested in the giant python, otherwise a junior would not be able to invite him. Where is the Black Emperor Python? Take us there now. He said calmly, don't want to waste time. He wanted to see how magical that giant python was, and whether the giant python's body was harder, or his own iron python legs were more ferocious. Li Wanshan is very confident in the iron python legs he has cultivated, and his combat power is considered strong among the masters. Xu Shiqing smiled slightly. Grand Master Li, don't be anxious. If you want to find the Black Emperor, you still need a little help. Please come with me. Please. The three of them stepped into the underground base. Just entered the first floor. I heard constant hissing sounds. Although they were slight, they were still dense and numb, making people's scalp numb. However, both of them were experienced masters. Naturally, they would not be surprised by such a small scene. They were just slightly surprised that there were people here. So many snakes. Xu Shiqing smiled slightly and said. These are all cheap gadgets. I'll show you some interesting things, uncle. Xu Zonggung and Li Wanshan looked at each other and saw the surprise in each other's eyes. Li Wanshan only knew that his friend's niece might be doing some kind of genetic experiment, but he didn't know the details. Although Xu Zonggung knew something about it, he had always looked down on it, so he didn't know much about it. Hearing Xu Shiqing's confidence at this moment, her curiosity naturally arose. Okay. Let's take a look. Xu Shiqing led the way. After passing through many checkpoints and being strictly guarded, they arrived from the elevator to the third underground floor, which was the bottom floor. The two masters gradually put away their contempt. Their senses told them that this underground base was very heavily guarded. If the two of them broke in without permission, they would be killed on the spot. 
Only then did Xu Zonggang realize that he had underestimated his niece. I'm afraid the cooperation between Xiqing and Sakura is not that simple. Xu Zonggang was inexplicably worried. Xu Xiqing clapped her hands, and the lights on the originally dim third floor suddenly turned on, and her proud voice resounded. Second uncle, Grandmaster Li, please look. The two people's eyes were attracted and they were shocked for a moment. In the wide third floor, huge liquid column tanks were erected in an orderly manner. Some of them were filled with strong dark green liquid and were still rolling. Some were filled with frozen nitrogen, some were red with high temperature, and some were it's in a vacuum. But the most crucial thing, it's still the creatures in those pillar cabins. It was so bizarre that even the two well-informed masters couldn't help but hold their breath. Various species of snakes. They come in different sizes and colors. Compared to normal snakes, there are many more strange ones here. For example, the one in front of you has three heads and is five meters long. Each head is full of life. It is obviously not a decoration. For example, there is one in the distance with six tails branching from the body, floating on the dark green liquid, which is extremely weird. There are also those with three vertical pupils, or those with snake heads grafted on other creatures, and so on. Seeing the strangeness made both of them feel numb. The eyes looking at Xu Xiqing couldn't help but change. Originally, Li Wanshan looked down on this junior, but now it seems that this junior has something. The two looked at each other and smiled dryly. Xu Xiqing, on the other hand, became enthusiastic unknowingly. These are all my masterpieces. Look at this, I call it a trident. The three heads have their own uses. The middle head can ensure his survival and combat in normal environments. The left one is responsible for extreme cold environments, and the right one is for extreme heat. Look at this one again. It's called Six Tails. His six tails are not just decorations. In the water, his speed is astonishingly fast, definitely beyond your imagination. Xu Xiqing introduced them one by one. Xu Zonggang and Li Wanshan became even more hairy, feeling inexplicably strange. At a glance, they saw that there were hundreds of liquid column tanks here, and even some of them were not open to them in the darkness. They didn't know how strange monster snakes there were. This one is called Red King. He is also very smart. He is a natural snake king and can command a group of snakes. It's a pity that he is no longer worthy after the Black Emperor appears. The Black Emperor is the real emperor. Xu Xiqing became more and more excited as she talked. Ahem, Xiqing, your work is indeed great, but what does it have to do with us finding the Black Emperor? Xu Zonggang coughed twice, interrupting Xu Xiqing's words. Xu Xiqing looked at the two people's reactions and curled her lips slightly in her heart. After knowing that the two people had completely taken her seriously, she slowly stopped in front of a liquid column tank. Of course it does. This snake's name is Chinli. He has evolved extremely powerful tracking abilities. With his help, it is only a matter of time before we find the Black Emperor. Xu Xiqing's words were full of confidence. As Xu Xiqing finished speaking, Xu Zonggang and Li Wanshan both looked in front of them. In the liquid column tank, a one meter long, crystal clear blue snake is sleeping. The body of the little blue snake was looming, and it looked extremely special, which made the two masters look surprised. Is this little snake really so mysterious? Of course. Xu Xiqing was extremely proud. Qin Li's senses have evolved in a very special way. As long as he comes into contact with the target's breath, he can lead you to find the target even if it is hundreds of miles away. That's why we named it Qin Li. Even if it's Wajin masters like you, my second uncle, it's the same. This is one of her most satisfying works. It took a lot of effort and resources. As long as you two bring Qin Li to the place where Black Emperor fought before, Qin Li will naturally lead you to find him by following Black Emperor's remaining aura. Hearing Xu Xiqing's words, both Grand Masters were shocked. If one has mastered the martial arts to the level of an Jin, they can control their own aura, let alone the Hua Jin. If they deliberately want to hide themselves, ordinary technological means will really not be able to find them. If the little blue snake in front of you is really so magical, it will definitely be a powerful threat to martial arts masters. Think so. The two people looked at the little blue snake and their eyes suddenly became extremely fearful. Then, the two subconsciously looked at each other and saw the helplessness in each other's eyes. That is the helplessness of the Dharma ending era. 
Practicing Chinese martial arts cannot compete with technology. Since Xi Qing you are already prepared, that's good. Without further ado, we won't waste time and set off as soon as possible. Xu Zonggang suppressed the surprise in his heart and said solemnly. After seeing Xu Xiqing's various research results, he is now much more motivated. If he originally just wanted to help his niece, it was out of guilt. So now, he also wants to see what kind of terrifying creatures Xu Xiqing can study through the giant python. Li Wanshan also nodded heavily. They all realized the importance of the Black Emperor of the Python. Then wait here for your triumphant return. Comma. Primeval forest. A cave. Su Zan's body is coiled together, piled high, and the snake's head is located directly above, looking full of majesty. As evolution continues, Su Zan's head has begun to be obviously different from ordinary snakes. Now his body has exceeded 17 meters. The strength has been further improved, and the change in strength brought about by every meter of body growth is extremely impressive. But, this wasn't what made him happiest. What makes him happiest is the progress in sonic attacks. Now we have reached a critical moment. In mind. The observations and insights from these days kept coming to Suzanne's mind. The roar of tigers in the mountains, the calls of wolves, the infrasound waves of bats, and even the previous vibrations of human sounds all came to Suzanne's mind one by one. Unconsciously, the abdominal muscles in Suzanne's body began to vibrate in a strange way. Hiss. The sharp, long hissing sound was extremely harsh and full of heart-stopping flavor. As the energy is integrated into it, the long hissing sound becomes more and more shocking. Faintly, there seemed to be layers of invisible sound waves that continued to ripple towards the surroundings. Suzan is extremely happy. As his screams continued to vibrate, you could clearly feel the cave beginning to shake, gravel falling down, and it felt like the earth was shaking. Comma. You observe the way animals make sounds and oscillate, get inspiration, and clearly understand the laws of abdominal muscle vibration. You combine dual strength with it, and you create the snake martial arts sonic vibration technique in ventriloquism. Close black lens bracket. Su Zan was extremely excited. A few days of thinking. Finally it was a success. The technique of sonic shock gave him another method of group killing, while the technique of ventriloquism gave him the ability to speak again. I. Doc can I speak? Inside the cave, a dull voice suddenly sounded, like it came from a very far distance, or like a demon or god from the nine heavens, echoing with waves of buzzing sounds. The abdominal muscles are too big, and when they vibrate, they can only make such a sound. Suzanne was very excited. Finally able to speak. Although it's just a trick and not my real voice, it's still pretty good. At least key moments can be used for communication. The last time he caught Zhao Qinghe, he was thinking that if he could speak, he could just force him to hand over the secret of the bone stacking skill. Why would he need so much effort? Now I finally have the ability to communicate. But. Suzanne doesn't intend to reveal it casually. A giant python that can speak human words will definitely cause huge waves if it is exposed. Another difficult problem was solved, and Suzanne's strength became more comprehensive. He began to think about his next move. He wanted to fight his way back to the underground base without fail, which was the small goal he set for himself. The first is to reach a body of 20 meters, and the second is to practice Chinese martial arts to the state of energy transformation. It is not difficult to grow to 20 meters. As long as Su Zan maintains the current pace of evolution, it will happen sooner or later. At least for now, he has not encountered any bottleneck in his body, and he doesn't know whether it is the reason for the mutation of his snake body or the reason for his practice of Chinese martial arts. But it stands to reason. The larger the biological volume, the greater the strength of muscles, bones and various organs required in the future. Suzan estimated that it would not be that simple for him to grow so unscrupulously to a giant python of 100 meters or even hundreds of meters, but he just didn't know where the current limit was. But, he is not in a hurry. He will wait until he really encounters an evolutionary bottleneck on his body and then slowly solve it. A little more difficult is Hua Jin. The so-called transforming energy. It is necessary to cultivate the dark energy throughout the whole body, even the internal organs, so as to achieve the state where the energy penetrates the whole body and is integrated into one. After that, 
no feather can be added, and no fly can fly. That's when, Suzanne's heart and many other organs will be extremely powerful. Even if someone manages to sneak into the python's belly, he will be penetrated by the force and die. That's the problem. Suzanne's current body is a bit too big, so it is a bit troublesome to cultivate the dark energy to the point where it can be spread all over the body. It is both joy and pain. Although it doesn't take much time for Suzanne to follow the steps step by step, he still tries to save some time. It would be great if I could learn from Master Wajin's secret technique. It should be able to greatly speed up this process. He had heard those people talk about it occasionally when he was at the base. Human beings who are promoted to Wajin Grand Masters all have secret techniques. Otherwise, with this water grinding skill, it is basically impossible to cultivate the engine to spread all over the body until death. Forget it, if it doesn't work, just take your time. It's okay to create a secret technique out of thin air, but maybe by the time I create it, I will have already been promoted to Wajin. Suzan shook his head slightly and stopped thinking about it. He dived and swam deep into the river. These days, he has been alert to the second wave of attacks from the underground base. After all, he had revealed a lot of special abilities in the past. Logically speaking, Xu Xiqing should be tempted to come and catch him. Unexpectedly, there was no movement. But the thought was fleeting. It really doesn't matter if you don't come. If you give Suzan a little time, you can kill him. By the time, let's settle old and new grudges together. Thinking like this, he gradually fell into a deep sleep. In the jungle, two figures were galloping. Xu Zonggung and Li Wanshan were not Moji people. They simply prepared some things and set off directly. They didn't even bring any firearms, but only brought some useful things. After all, they are at their level. Heavy thermal weapons are inconvenient for them to carry, and light firearms may not be as useful as their own fists, unless they are used against weaker humans, but they are not as good as cold weapons against the obviously alien giant python. Xu Zonggung's hand was covered with a metal fist claw, and its sharp edge was vaguely visible. Most of his kung fu is in his hands, and he has gained the reputation of a thunderbolt rusher. Li Wanshan, on the other hand, wears special alloy leggings, which are loaded with various secret sharp blades. Together with his iron python legs, the lethality is extremely terrifying. The two were very fast. In order to save time, he didn't even deliberately hide his traces. The wild beasts encountered along the way were directly slaughtered. Such as this time, a wild boar on the opposite side was blocking the way of the two of them fiercely. You coming or me? Xu Zonggung said with a smile. Let me do it. Li Wanshan was ruthless and didn't say many words. His legs, which were like diamond iron pillars, suddenly exerted force, and his figure suddenly shot out, making a shocking sound of air waves. His eyes were cold. His legs kicked out in a series, like two iron pythons lashing out. Kick the wild boar hard on the head. Boom. There was a muffled sound. The wild boar didn't even have time to launch a charge, but it suffered a terrible blow. It was like being hit by a heavy truck, and the wild boar's strong body flew upside down uncontrollably. Not only that, the head was bleeding from all the orifices, and the skull was kicked to pieces. Good kicks. Xu Zonggung laughed and praised. Brother, you are becoming more and more powerful. Li Wanshan curled his lips and said a few words of humility, and the two of them continued to rush towards their destination. As for the wild boar, it will naturally become food for other beasts. Soon, the two stopped in a dense forest. His eyes gradually became serious. Although several days have passed, the traces of the battle here are still very obvious. After all, the bullet holes that can be seen everywhere cannot be faked, they are all traces of human beings. But what shocked the two of them the most? There are still those exaggerated beating marks. Watching it live is more shocking than watching it through the video. This Black Emperor Python is not simple. It seems that our prediction is correct. He should have the initial ability to compete with human Wajin. If he continues to evolve, could he be able to compete with Danjin in the future? Both of them were secretly frightened. We have to bring him back as soon as possible. Xu Zonggung pulled the backpack behind him, and a small, crystal clear blue snake immediately climbed up his shoulder along the zipper gap and landed on the ground. This mutant snake named Chinli has very beautiful pupils. Both grandmasters looked at it in amazement. Chinli was seen meandering on the ground, 
crawling along the various traces left by Su Zan, and then spitting out snake letters, as if he was trying to distinguish something. Can it be done? Believe Shi Qing, she never lies. While the two were talking softly, the little blue snake finally made some movement. I saw it spitting out snake letters, and its originally crystal clear body started to glow with blue light. Yes, Xu Zonggang's eyes lit up, he stepped forward and wrapped the little snake in his hand. The head of the blue snake immediately stretched out toward the east, spitting out snake messages. Both of them were amazed. This little guy is amazing. According to Xu Xiqing, as long as Qin Li can identify the corresponding aura, he can find the residue in the air. During this process, more advanced biological principles are involved. They cannot hear it, but as long as they know it, it is very powerful. Although it is not an exaggeration to say that it can be tracked thousands of miles away, there is still no big problem in covering this primeval forest. Brother Xu, your niece is not simple. Li Wanshan couldn't help but admire. Yu Xu family are really full of talents. A few years ago, Xu Xiu came out and joined the Supernatural Law Enforcement Bureau. He is expected to be exposed to the last extraordinary power in this law ending era, and even surpass the legendary Dan Jin. I didn't expect that there is Xu Xiqing hiding, who has such high attainments in the field of biology. If she is allowed to use Black Emperor to research new results, I'm afraid she may not be inferior to Xu Xiu in the future. There was a hint of compliment in his voice. Although the Li family can be considered an aristocratic family, it is far behind compared to the Xu family. Xu Zonggang smiled bitterly and shook his head. He knows his own family affairs. If these two nieces are of the same mind, that's fine. The point is, they are like fire and water. Let's wait until the Black Emperor is brought back. If I find any trace of the Black Emperor later, I will lead him out. If this beast is unwilling to listen, then take action directly. The two of them were flying fast. Qin Li kept correcting his direction, as if feeling the increasingly richer Su Zan's scent in the air, the little blue snake became more and more excited. The two masters also gradually became cautious. Although they are very confident in the strength of the two of them, the strength of the Black Emperor Python cannot be underestimated, and they will not be careless. Time flies. Track all the way. Finally, two days later, the two stopped in front of a wide river. The little blue snake spit out the snake letter excitedly, its head swaying. It seems like this is it. Xu Zonggang and Li Wanshan looked at each other with serious eyes. They sense with full force. No trace was found. But a thousand miles makes no mistake. In the river, he can hide. A little trouble, but not much. Xu Zonggang stuffed the little blue snake back into his backpack, then took a deep breath, and his voice sounded like thunder. Hey Emperor, come out. I know you can understand us, come out, we don't mean any harm. We are here to help you. Xu Zonggang worked hard, and the sound was like a loud bell, clear and deafening. Even the water surface rippled with ripples, spreading continuously towards the surroundings. Don't worry, there are only two of us, we don't carry any weapons, and we don't have any hostility. Your makers want to talk to you. If you are here, please come out and meet us. Xu Zonggang kept changing his position and shouted towards the river. Li Wanshan, on the other hand, was vigilant about his surroundings to prevent sneak attacks from other beasts. However, during the continuous attacks, the two of them killed many wild beasts, and their auras were very fierce. Ordinary wild beasts really didn't have the guts to come and cause trouble. Time flies. There was no movement on the river except for the oscillating ripples of sound. What should I do? This guy is too vigilant. Li Wanshan said quietly. Xu Zonggang frowned slightly, and then took out a tube of genetic fluid from his backpack. It seems that we can only try the genetic fluid Shi Qing mentioned. Be prepared. If the Black Emperor cannot communicate, you will have no choice but to fight. Good. Xu Zonggang was preparing to pour out the genetic fluid. At this time, he made a move, and the two of them tensed up instantly. I saw that the river surface, which originally had only ripples, suddenly fluctuated violently, and a vortex in the center was constantly oscillating, as if there was some terrifying giant thing hiding in it, and a huge black shadow was vaguely visible. The two stared at each other intently. The next moment, my heart skipped a beat, and the river exploded instantly. A ferocious and domineering head emerged from the middle. Black Emperor, here we come. 
looking at the fierce creature that suddenly appeared in front of him. There was slight shock in the eyes of the two grandmasters. Only when you actually see this strange giant python can you feel how shocking the impact of the perspective is. The giant python in front of him only raised its upper body. The head is covered with dark scales, and a few raised bone spurs are vaguely visible. The shape is very different from the round head of an ordinary python. It looks particularly domineering, as if it is wearing a crown. It is called black. The emperor is worthy of his name. And what made the two of them even more solemn? It was the fierce aura on the giant python. It's definitely a vicious beast. Fortunately, judging from the upper body of this body, the body length is still about 10 meters. It has improved somewhat from the previous few days, but not much. It seems that it has encountered an evolutionary bottleneck. Xu Zonggung looked at it silently, feeling slightly relieved. They already knew before that this giant python grew from 2 meters to 10 meters in a short period of time. If it continues to maintain such a terrifying growth rate these days, it will be a bit difficult to handle. Su Zan was also sizing up the two Huijing masters opposite him. His eyes were slightly surprised. Still a little excited. Before, I was thinking that it would be great if I could get the secret technique of cultivating in Jin from Grandmaster Wajin, but unexpectedly two masters came to my door. In fact, Su Zan had already spotted the two people when they approached the river area. His current perception is no joke, but he had been observing secretly. It wasn't until Xu Zonggung wanted to dump the genetic fluid that Su Zan showed up. In his opinion, those were his trophies and he could not allow others to waste them. That little blue snake is quite strange. It seems to be a mutated snake that has some kind of tracking effect. Moreover, this little snake seems to give me a similar feeling to genetic fluid. It seems to contain a lot of energy. I guess the effect will not be bad after eating it. Su Zan thought secretly in his heart. As for the two masters. To be honest, he didn't take it seriously. Although he is only a dark force, with his powerful body there, he can overturn a tanker and armored vehicle, and it's like playing with the human form force. He just wanted to see what methods the underground base had prepared this time. After confirming that only these two people arrived, he was a little disappointed. Weak. Too weak. If there is really heavy firepower coming, maybe he can relax his muscles and bones. But, he was not in a hurry to get angry. He knew that there must be something like a camera sensor on the two of them, and his every move must have been transmitted back to the underground base, where the woman named Xu Xiching was watching. So now Su Zan has shrunk his body and maintained a figure of just over 10 meters. Su Zan was somewhat interested in the negotiation between the two. He roughly knew what the other party was thinking, so he would explore it first. At this time, Xu Zonggung and Li Wanshan both tightened their bodies and were ready to fight at any time to prevent the giant python from rising. However, after seeing the giant python appear, it just neighed in demonstration. While they breathed a sigh of relief, they couldn't help but feel even more surprised. Xu Xiching was right. The giant python in front of me can really hear human words. Xu Zonggung took a few steps back and tried his best to show his friendliness. Hey Emperor, we have no ill intentions. This time, your creator wants to talk to you. She wants to help you. If you are willing, how about you listen to her thoughts? He slowed down, staring at the giant python in front of him. Su Zan was noncommittal and did not refuse. This was his first direct contact with Xu Xiching, and he might be able to get some secrets about the underground base, which would be helpful for his next actions. But he almost wanted to laugh at the two so-called founders' claims. Xu Zonggung was overjoyed. There was a strange feeling in my heart that I was actually communicating with a giant python. He doesn't ink either. He took out a small black box from his backpack and projected it into the air. The next moment, countless rays of light gathered, and Xu Xiqing's enthusiastic smile appeared in the projection. She specially put on exquisite makeup, lightly opened her red lips, and smiled. Hello, Black Emperor, my child. Su Zan was speechless and just pretended to neigh a few times. Xu Xiqing knew that the Black Emperor opposite could not speak, so she looked at the giant python opposite with amazement, her eyes becoming more and more amazed. I know there is some misunderstanding between us. What happened last time was an accident. I apologize to you. 
You are my child, and I will never let you get hurt in any way. I am your creator. I want you to live a better life and grow more perfectly than anyone else. Quote dot 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 quote. Xu Xiqing talked a lot, full of affection. Su Zan just watched indifferently. In the eyes of the two masters, that is, the giant python in front of them doesn't like this at all. He seemed to be aware of this as well. Xu Xiqing finally stopped talking and got to the point. My child, I know you are very smart. I believe that you have felt the endless loneliness now. You are a creature with extraordinary wisdom. It will definitely be difficult to be among those furry beasts. You should belong in the civilized world. Come, come back to me, humans will accept you. She glanced at Su Zan, who was still a little over 10 meters tall, and smiled confidently. And I believe that you have now felt the difficulty of evolution. 10 meters is a small bottleneck for you, but it doesn't matter, I can help you. As long as you come back to me, I will help you evolve to become more powerful than ever before. Like them, Xu Xiqing's words paused, and the projection screen suddenly changed. Liquid column tanks appeared one after another. The picture focuses on snakes of different shapes. Look at the snakes with three heads or six tails. Su Zan was shocked. He finally got a glimpse of some of the secrets of the underground base, and he almost fell asleep. The screen finally stopped on an extremely large liquid tank. In it, a huge python is sleeping. If we estimate it, its body may be close to 20 meters. Su Zan's eyes narrowed. This is even bigger than my current self. Xu Zonggung and Li Wanshan were both shocked. What a huge thing it was. Xu Xiqing had never shown them before. Xu Xiqing's voice continued. Hey Emperor, my child, have you seen that I have this strength? Your potential is much greater than him. As long as you are willing to return to your mother, I will help you continue to evolve. 10 meters is far from your limit, 20 meters, 30 meters, or even 100 meters. Quote. You will become the most powerful and terrifying creature on this planet. They all need a king, and this king is you. Xu Xiqing's voice was so fervent that it was distorted. She looked at Su Zan as if she wanted to eat him. Both grandmasters could not help but be amazed. Starting from the loneliness of intelligent creatures, they begin to empathize, show their kindness step by step, and finally use various trump cards, using evolution as bait, and smash the cakes piece by piece. Even some smart humans have to be persuaded to move. To be fair, if they were the giant python in front of them, their hearts would definitely be moved. What a powerful woman. This idea flashed in their minds, and then they looked at the giant python in front of them. Three pairs of eyes looked at Su Zan, waiting for his reaction. In the eyes of three people. While Xu Xiqing was narrating enthusiastically, the black emperor in front of her never made any big changes. Such a vicious creature became docile, as if it had been persuaded. However, Xu Zonggung and Li Wanshan did not take it lightly. The two of them were not as fanatical as Xu Xiqing, and they always remained wary of the giant python in front of them. Su Zan looked at the projection opposite. My heart turned slightly. Of course he couldn't be persuaded. The so-called evolutionary pie is of no use to him. If he is really a giant python that has evolved wisdom, Xu Xiqing's conditions are indeed very tempting. But here's the kicker. He is not. Moreover, he has incredible understanding, and his future is beyond the imagination of these people. Of course, he will not be tempted. If you don't want freedom, why should you give it to others as a guinea pig? But, from Xu Xiqing's narration, he also got a lot of useful information. First, there is the bottleneck problem of evolution. It does exist. Although under their own disguise, they thought that their evolution was stuck at the 10 meter bottleneck and could not break through. In fact, Suzan had already broken through the 17 meter length. This reminded Suzan and allowed him to start preparations in advance. Secondly, and most importantly, the mutated snakes allowed Suzan to finally get a glimpse of some of the secrets of the underground base. If I attack the underground base in the future, these may become my obstacles. Now that I know it in advance, I can make some preparations first. Especially the terrifying 20 meter long python, which is almost impossible to appear in nature. It seems that this woman's research results are indeed useful. She can cultivate a 20 meter long giant python. If I can get it, it should be of great help to my evolution. Su Zan's thoughts kept turning. In the eyes of the three of them, that was the hesitation of conceiving. 
Xu Shiqing's voice continued to sound, soft and bewitching. Hey Emperor, don't hesitate and come back to me. Then you will know what is the most correct choice. I will take you on an unprecedented path of evolution. Unknowingly, after Xu Shiqing's voice was specially adjusted, it was full of weirdness, which made both masters feel hairy. This is one of Xu Shiqing's research results. The adjusted voice can make snakes feel extra comfortable, thus lowering their guard and even becoming dependent on her. The giant python opposite seemed to become more and more docile. The originally restless river surface gradually calmed down. The giant python held its head high. He kept sliding his body and approached the two of them. Soon, climbing up to the shore, the two masters finally saw the giant python in its entirety. It was slender and powerful, with dark scales all over its body and bloody lines, making it look mysterious and powerful. Li Wanshan's eyes were full of inquiry. If he could observe such a unique and powerful giant python up close, he might be able to perfect the iron python legs to the point where he could surpass his master and ancestors. Among Chinese martial arts, many martial arts originally evolved from observing the behavior of wild animals. Right, that is it. Xu Shiqing's body began to tremble slightly with excitement. I didn't expect things to go so smoothly. The two grand masters also gradually lowered their guard, and smiles appeared on their lips. However, changes often occur when people are most relaxed. Su Zan sneered in his heart. Listening to Xu Shiqing talk nonsense for so long was just to get some useful information. Now that the goal is achieved, there is no need to continue. As the distance gets closer, Xu Shiqing vaguely detected a trace of teasing in the eyes of the giant python opposite her, and a trace of uneasiness arose in her heart. Then this uneasiness was confirmed. Su Zan the python's mouth opened wide and it looked up to the sky and hissed. Hiss. A sharp and harsh neighing sound broke out instantly with Su Zan as the center, and circles of invisible sound waves continued to spread towards the surroundings. Behind. The river surface instantly stirred up waves, and small water columns were squeezed into the sky due to the vibration. In front of you, the expressions of the two grand masters suddenly changed. He never expected that the giant python would suddenly rise up, and its neighing sound was extremely aggressive. The two of them flew back in shock, trying their best to protect their ears, but they still felt dizzy, and waves of dizziness came over them. And on the body, there was even a series of crackling sounds. Almost in the blink of an eye, all the electronic equipment on the two people collapsed. The projection of Xu Shiqing in the sky shook and disappeared immediately. Atmosphere. He became solemn instantly. Comma. At the same time. In the underground base, Xu Shiqing's face, which was originally filled with joy, had completely stiffened, and her beautiful eyes were filled with anger. She clenched her fists and gritted her teeth. At this time, she didn't know that she was clearly being played by that abominable black emperor. Pretend to be moved, but actually it is to explode suddenly. Good. Very good. You dare to play tricks on me. I didn't expect that I, Xu Shiqing, would actually create such a cunning beast. Black emperor, I have to say that your wisdom has once again refreshed my understanding of you. She gasped fiercely, wishing she could throw the giant python into the high-voltage electric cage and enjoy it now. If you don't eat the toast, you will be punished with alcohol. Since you don't like to reason, don't blame me for being cruel. It seems that I was lucky. Beasts are beasts and they need to be subdued with fists. Xu Shiqing kept cursing. At this time, the underground base had lost contact with the two masters, but she was not worried. She had already made a strategy before. If the negotiations failed, she would bring the Black Emperor back by force. Even if it is damaged during the battle, there is nothing that can be done. As for the two Grand Masters not being the opponents of the Black Emperor, she didn't think it was possible. Since Black Emperor chose this method of disguised sneak attack, doesn't it just show that he has no confidence in his own strength? Xu Shiqing snorted heavily and ordered. Prepare the energy liquid column cabin with level 5 strength and prepare to meet the Black Emperor. Yes, Supervisor. Comma. Xu Shiqing is very confident. But the confidence of the two masters was obviously not that high. Only by being there and facing Su Zan. Only then did I realize how terrifying the sonic shock technique was. At this time, 
Xu Zonggang and Li Wanshan looked pale, and felt dizzy in their minds, as if someone was messing with their minds with a stick. It is not that there are no sonic attacks in the martial arts world. But even the famous Buddhist lion's roar is not so terrifying. A terrible guess came to both of their minds. This giant python knows martial arts. As soon as this thought came up, they found it unbelievable and unbelievable. However, as a master of Wajin, when the sound wave vibrated over, the faintly perceptible fluctuation of force was so real. Both of their faces were filled with horror. A giant python that knows martial arts. This is completely different from what Xu Xiqing said. The two of them have lived for so long and have never seen anything weird. But a giant python practicing Chinese martial arts. It was really the first time they met. Just thinking about it makes them feel unbelievable, but what's more, they feel dignified. Such a huge body coupled with the martial arts can exert such terrifying power. The two of them feel suffocated just thinking about it. In an instant, the two masters were filled with turmoil, and they instinctively felt angry towards the informant. But right away, the two of them realized that even Xu Xiqing probably didn't know the truth. Neither of the two masters were fools. Thinking of the giant python's sudden burst of sound waves that destroyed all electronic equipment, the two of them couldn't help but have a look of horror in their eyes, obvious. All of these, it was all premeditated. This giant python has been hiding its strength, giving Xu Xiqing the wrong illusion, making her think that the strength of the giant python is at most similar to that of an ordinary human Wajin master. Maybe he even deliberately lured the underground base to send people to die. This is the thought. Both of them had constricted pupils, knowing that today's matter might be difficult. Wan Shan, this beast is more cunning than we previously expected. I'm afraid there will be a bloody battle today. Xu Zonggang said bitterly. He never thought that one day he would be tricked by a wild beast. He suppressed his headache and quickly distanced himself from Li Wanshan. Li Wanshan was also shocked and angry. The closer he got, the greater the impact he received, and his condition was very bad at this time. Don't hold back, explore this beast's background first. The two shouted loudly, and their decades of tacit understanding were vividly displayed at this moment. Almost at the same time, the two stopped flying back, and then recoiled towards Suzanne at a weird speed. This completely violates the principles of physics, which means Grandmaster Wajin can do this with the strength throughout his body. The two men were murderous. Xu Zonggang's alloy gloves poked out sharp claws, and his punches were domineering, like thunder. Li Wanshan kicked with both legs, with sharp flywheels spinning on the edges of his toes. His kicks were extremely sharp, like two iron pythons entangled. With the blessing of strength, the momentum is even more powerful, enough to cut through gold and jade. But the next moment, both of their pupils widened and they subconsciously let out a strange scream. The figure turned back at a strange angle again. The successive changes in strength made them extremely uncomfortable. Even the Wajin Grandmaster couldn't bear it. A mouthful of blood couldn't help spitting out. However, they didn't care about the injuries on their bodies and just stared at the terrifying creature opposite them with their mouths open. Kakaka. There was an extremely dull and dense sound of bones twisting, and the giant python opposite, which was originally only 10 meters long, suddenly grew in size. It's like blowing air. It reached nearly 20 meters in an instant. The ferocity increased exponentially. Hiss. The two of them couldn't help but suck in a breath of cold air, and the physical pressure made their scalps numb. How can it be? This, what kind of monster is this? A terrifying giant python 17 meters long appeared in front of him. The visual impact was far beyond what the previous 10 meter giant python could compare to. Suzan's pupils were full of amusement. After destroying the electronic equipment, he can naturally show his original body unscrupulously. After all, using Rui's body to shrink one's body is not a very comfortable thing. Anyway, he didn't intend to let these two people go back alive. Don't be afraid of them revealing their secrets. Seeing the two people retreating and rushing forward, the funny feeling made Suzan couldn't help but laugh. Hiss. The neighing sound of the giant python was particularly terrifying, echoing in the primeval forest, making the nearby beasts feel fear coming, and they fled around quickly, not daring to get close at all. This time, even the two masters were on guard. 
But his face couldn't help but turn pale, and the slight injury he suffered just now due to the conflict of force couldn't help but become more serious, and another mouthful of blood spurted out, which meant that his internal organs were being compressed. The huge size of 17 meters combined with the sonic shock is really terrifying. Su Zan is very satisfied with his masterpiece. Seeing the bodies of the two people opposite him trembling slightly, he had no intention of holding back. Whoosh! Su Zan's eyes were cold and electric. His body is huge, but he is not slow, and is even very fast. At this time, driven by the huge force, it was like a black train rolling towards the two of them, causing layers of sonic booms. The expressions of the two grandmasters suddenly changed. Fight back hard. Xu Zonggung's punches were like thunder, and Li Wanshan's whip and legs were like iron pythons. The martial arts are exquisite, and the strength is enough to tear through iron and stone. But it's a pity. What they met was Suzan. Under the absolute suppression of power, there was only one result, and that was to be suppressed. Crack. The bright and dark energy merged into one, and Suzan twitched the python's tail, making a whining sound of strong wind in the air. The two of them were like rags and sacks, being whipped away violently and breaking big trees. Even if you have worked hard to relieve yourself. But the remaining energy is still too much for them to bear. Less than half of the bones in his body were broken, and he kept coughing up blood. This is how one force can defeat ten people, using force to suppress others. Suzan had easily suppressed the two Wajin masters before he even used all his strength. The two of them got up in embarrassment, both shocked. After just a short fight, they finally saw clearly the state of Suzan's martial arts. Dark Energy a giant python has actually practiced Chinese martial arts to the dark level. What a terrifying thing. Although the two of them are masters of Wajin, their foundations are too different, and their innate strength is several levels different. Therefore, they were crushed at will by the giant python in front of them. The corners of their mouths were full of bitterness. Even if you don't want to admit it. But you still have to accept the fact that the two of you are no match for the giant python in front of you deal with such terrifying monsters. I'm afraid it would only be possible if heavy firepower was used, or an old Danjin monster was born. Xu Zonggung and Li Wanshan looked at each other and saw the determination in each other's eyes. Escape separately. There is no need to fight at all. If they continue to fight, they will all be killed in a short time. If they escape separately, there may be a glimmer of hope and one person can survive. Next moment. The two of them stomped their feet, used their strength to stabilize the injuries in their bodies, and then flew towards the left and right. Suzan looked disdainfully. Want to escape? Impossible. His body was shot with electricity, like a thick black lightning, and the big trees along the way were directly broken. The speed was much faster than the two Wajin masters. Just a few seconds. Xu Zonggung had already heard the movement behind him. He looked horrified and cursed that he was unlucky. He didn't expect that the python would choose him first. But right away, he had no time to think about it. Whoosh! Suzan's eyes were cold, and he struck with a python tail, breaking several big trees, and suppressed Xu Zonggung to the ground, unable to move at all. The huge force crushed him, and Suzan's control of the power was as light as a breeze, just right. Xu Zonggung only lasted a few breaths before he fainted. These two people are still useful. Suzan needs to get the secret technique of energy transformation from them, so he is not in a hurry to kill them. Wrap around Xu Zonggung who fainted. Suzan's body shot with electricity and he chased in the direction of Li Wanshan again. In just 10 seconds, Li Wanshan couldn't escape far. The air was filled with his scent, so Suzan didn't have to worry about finding him. One minute later, Li Wanshan looked desperately at the giant python in front of him, his body trembling. Especially after seeing the friend entangled by the giant python, I couldn't help but have red eyes. I'll fight you. However, the gap is the gap, even if it is explosive, Li Wanshan will be suppressed in an instant. There was no room for resistance. Just follow in the footsteps of Xu Zonggang. In a short period of time, the two Huizhing masters were suppressed by Su Zan. I have to say that his strength has improved so quickly. Su Zan is very satisfied with his results. The two Wajin masters were basically at the top of human combat power, but facing him, they still didn't have much power to resist. Have to say, Suzan's current strength is a bit too scary. 
He curled his lips slightly in his heart. It seems that Hua Jin is not very strong. Fortunately, I was so careful before. I don't know what the combat power of the strong ones above Hua Jin is. Actually, this is not because Grandmaster Hua Jin is too weak, but simply because Su Zan is too strong. Unimaginable. How terrifying it would be if he used his wishful body and all his methods. At this point, Su Zan was completely sure that he already had the ability to challenge humans. However, you still have to keep a low profile and continue to work hard to develop. It is true that ordinary human means cannot help me, but their thermal weapons are still very terrifying, including bombers, thermal bombs, electromagnetic guns, heavy sniper rifles, and even the king of thermal weapons, nuclear bombs. Although Su Zan also knows. It is impossible for humans to use a nuclear bomb, a huge killer weapon at the bottom of the box, casually. But, he will still regard it as an imaginary enemy. If one day we can withstand nuclear bombs, we will be truly invincible on this planet. Su Zan feels excited just thinking about it. You have to walk step by step. Now let's break through the energy first. Su Zan looked at the two human masters who were in a coma, and was slightly happy. He was originally worried that the speed of advancing to the level of energy was too slow, but he didn't expect that there would be pillows when he fell asleep. These two people came at the right time. Leaving two people alive was naturally to ask for the secret method of accelerating the spread of dark energy throughout the body. But there's no rush yet. Suzan cleaned up the traces of the battle just now. They quickly brought their backpacks back. First of all, what comes into view are two bottles of genetic fluid. It was less than last time. Because this time there was the mutant snake Chinli, Xu Xiqing was very confident, so she didn't give too much genetic fluid. After all, genetic fluid was not a bad item. Su Zan was slightly regretful. But there is no disappointment, two bottles are better than none. And, there was an even more important gain waiting to compensate him. A trace of curiosity flashed in his heart, and he opened the backpack and a crystal clear blue snake suddenly came into view, thousands of miles away. At this time, the little blue snake was trembling and twisting uneasily. In front of an emperor of snakes like Su Zan, other snakes seemed to naturally feel an astonishing sense of oppression. The terrifying figure of 17 meters is really too terrifying. When I was watching in the dark before, Su Zan discovered that this little snake seemed to have a unique tracking ability. The two people were able to find their hiding place so accurately thanks to this little snake. Just do some research. This alerted Su Zan. Human beings have too many methods. He originally thought that his ability to control aura was already strong, but now it seems that it is not enough. Maybe you can use this little snake's ability to strengthen your tracking and concealment abilities. Not only that, this little snake has rich energy contained in it. If you really want to compare it, I'm afraid it is no less than the two bottles of genetic fluid. Su Zan's thoughts turned. The python rolled up its body and took its trophies with it and left in the distance. He wanted to find a safe enough place to digest this harvest. When he appears again, it will be the time of complete reckoning. Although Xu Xiqing was teased this time and did not suffer any loss, Su Zan wanted to take revenge if he wanted to. Xu Xiqing sent people to catch him one after another. This kind of behavior has been on his blacklist. Comma. Inside a wide cave, the aborigines have become Su Zan's food. He hovered his body together and looked at the trembling blue snake in front of him. In the distance, there were two unconscious human masters. Su Zan is studying small snakes. Hiss. A slight hissing sound sounded, and the method of controlling snakes that was first created has now become more perfect. As Su Zan's size and strength continue to increase, the radiation range of this control is much further than before. At this time, the little blue snake finally stopped trembling and just lay down respectfully. Su Zan discovered that Xu Xiqing's method of controlling this kind of mutated snakes was also through taming pheromones. After a long period of domestication and special methods, these mutated snakes can be controlled like arms. She is a capable woman. With a fleeting thought, he controlled the little blue snake to activate his tracking ability. Then the python's body covered the little blue snake, working hard and sensing the changes of the little blue snake. In an instant, the crystal clear blue snake began to shine brightly. In Su Zan's perception, the little snake's body began to secrete a certain magical substance crazily, 
and this substance began to blend with a certain aura remaining in the air, constantly guiding it to spread into the distance. Su Zan couldn't help showing wonder in his eyes. It's amazing. So that's how it was tracked. He understood the rationale. As long as living things exist in the environment, they will leave various traces. These traces may seem very light, but in fact they will remain in the air for a long time. Chinli tracks them through special substances secreted by itself. After clearly understanding the principle, the mysterious veil was immediately revealed completely. Su Zan couldn't help but get excited. Because you can do the same. He has extremely strong control over his body and can completely control his body to make fine adjustments. As long as he evolves the same organs in imitation of the little blue snake the next time he evolves. That way, Su Zan can also control the art of tracking thousands of miles, even more powerful. But now, instead, you can use this to create a more powerful breath gathering technique first. This will prevent someone from using such means to track you again in the future. He couldn't help but laugh in his heart. He controlled the little blue snake to display his abilities over and over again, constantly observing and analyzing the principles. In his mind, auras of light kept flashing. Not only the principle of tracking a thousand mile snake, but also the principle of disguise of various beasts that Su Zan had encountered before, all flashed in his mind one by one. The strength is coordinated with the body and begins to operate at a special rhythm. Comma. You observe the tracking principle of mutated snakes, and use this to deduce the art of concealment. You combine the concealment methods of various beasts and get inspiration, and you create the art of gathering inanimate breath. Close black lens bracket. Comma. Su Zan recovered from the state of enlightenment, his pupils filled with joy. The art of condensing lifeless breath. As the name suggests, after Su Zan enters this state, he will be like a lifeless stone. Heat sensing, breathing sensing, etc. will all fail. Not only that, it will also completely lock the traces of material exchange between itself and the outside world. Mutated snakes like Chinli will no longer be able to track him. He couldn't help but laugh inwardly. Very satisfied. This research was indeed not a waste of time. He couldn't help but think that there were so many mutant snakes in the underground base. If he could get Xu Xiqing's research information, he really didn't know how terrifying they could evolve into. Su Zan's heart was burning. Before creating a reliable path to evolve a true dragon, he didn't mind using any means to enhance his own strength. But, now is not the time. He looked at the little blue snake and the genetic fluid in front of him, and the abundant energy had already made him ready to move. The research is now complete. The little blue snake has no use anymore. Its only function is to provide him with abundant evolutionary energy. The little blue snake in front of him seemed to sense the crisis and trembled uneasily under Su Zan's gaze. Su Zan's pupils were full of indifference. Reborn as a snake. Embodying a human soul. He is a unique being. He had no psychological burden at all about swallowing the little snake in front of him. During these days of hunting, several pythons had entered his stomach. Hiss. With a slight neigh, Suzan opened his mouth. The little blue snake let out a hiss and was swallowed by him along with the two bottles of genetic fluid. The highly corrosive gastric juice melted the little snake in an instant. In an instant, extremely violent energy burst out from Suzan's body. In the past, even Suzan would have to be prepared for such a strong burst of energy, but now as his strength grows and his body becomes more powerful, these energies are not so scary. He glanced at the two human masters who were still unconscious. They would be unconscious for at least a few hours. Suzan then began to go all out to absorb energy. Buzz. The next moment, a dull buzzing sound suddenly echoed in the cave. Suzan's breathing sounded rhythmically, and the python's body began to vibrate at a special frequency. He had mastered the snake bone vibration breathing method. In an instant. The vigorous movement began to guide the violent force towards the orderly integration of various parts of the body. Scales, fangs, poison sacs, flesh and blood, heart, bones, began to strengthen at a speed visible to the naked eye. Suzan evolves every time. He will consciously guide his body in a more beneficial direction for several secret techniques. The same is true for flesh and blood, scales, suffocating poison, and wishful bodies. But this time, 
He also needs to guide energy to evolve a brand new organ that allows him to secrete the same special substance as the little blue snake, allowing him to track it thousands of miles away. I recalled the secretion principle of the little blue snake in my mind. After making sure everything was safe, Suzanne began to guide the energy carefully. Inside the cave, the dark giant python is spiraling up like a huge stone. From time to time, blood flowers explode on its body surface. Compared with the previous two times, the amplitude and frequency of the blood flowers explosion are greatly reduced, and the healing ones are smaller, is more rapid. As Suzan has grown to his current level of strength, the obstacles to absorbing such terrifying energy have become much smaller. Visible to the naked eye, the python body begins to grow amazingly. This is true for both length and girth. I don't know how much time has passed. This shocking transformation is finally over. Suzan moved his new body, feeling extremely satisfied. 21 meters. Now Suzan's body has successfully reached 21 meters. It's even more terrifying than the giant python shown in Xu Xiqing's previous picture. Feeling the domineering power coming from all over his body, Suzan could not help but nod with satisfaction. He could clearly feel that after breaking through the 20 meter bottleneck, his body seemed to have undergone a qualitative change. Strength, speed, defense, healing speed, etc. have all reached a new level. Even without using national martial arts, now Suzan is extremely powerful. Sure enough, the further the biological body grows, the more difficult it becomes, but once the limit is exceeded, the growth will be equally huge. For example, elephants have almost no natural enemies on land. For example, whales are even more terrifying and can be called the overlord of the ocean. Now, I am finally on this path. Sooner or later, I will become a true overlord. Not only that, I can also learn Chinese martial arts, and my strength will be even more terrifying. Suzan was slightly excited. Originally, he thought that by swallowing this energetic little blue snake and two bottles of genetic fluid, he might be able to grow 7 to 8 meters, but he didn't expect that he would only grow 4 meters in the end. He was a little confused at first. But now he understands. The further an organism grows in size, the greater the amount of energy it requires. Now that he has reached an exaggerated body size of 21 meters, even two bottles of genetic fluid may not be able to make him grow another meter. If you rely solely on yourself to hunt, it will be even more difficult. The number of prey required and the time spent will inevitably increase sharply compared to before. But it's all worth it. With a size of 21 meters, his strength alone is enough to rival Grandmaster Wajin. If I use my wishful body, I can expand even more terrifyingly, reaching a terrifying level of more than 30 meters. In the human world, it is higher than a dozen floors. Suzan was a little intoxicated by his own power, a feeling that he had never experienced in his previous life. Two small goals. Finally achieved one. Next, as long as he is promoted to Wajin, he will be almost certain to fight his way back to the underground base. Suzan calmed down his inner excitement and sensed other changes. The bloody lines on the snake scales are extremely clear. The combination of scales and flesh has a mysterious feeling. His defense power has skyrocketed. Ordinary thermal weapons cannot break his defense at all. Not only that, the healing ability has also been greatly improved. Even if you are really injured, you can recover quickly. The suffocating poison and wishful body have also been greatly improved, and they have been further optimized with the growth of Suzan's python body. But, what Suzan cares about most, or a newly evolved ability, tracking. It is evolved from the imitation of the blue snake, and the blue is better than the blue. The new organ in his body, which he calls a sensory sac, can secrete a large amount of perceptron in a short period of time, intertwining with the traces left by organisms in the air to track them. Compared with the previous blue snake, Suzan's tracking ability is even more powerful. Not only can prey be tracked further back, but it can be tracked further back. In other words, the original little blue snake might only be able to trace the traces within 7 days, and at most follow the traces to a hundred miles away, but Suzan can trace them within half a month, or even truly reach a thousand miles. This is the real thousand miles. If Xu Xiqing knew about it, she would probably be so crazy that she would choke and scream. Without any exaggeration. Now Suzan is the most terrifying hunter. 
As long as you are targeted by him, I am afraid there will be only one end, death. Very good. I have one more method at my disposal. Suzan is very satisfied with the results of this evolution. Not only did he successfully break through the small limit of 20 meters, his strength skyrocketed, but he also evolved more methods, which greatly improved his life-saving hunting ability. Now, all that's left is to break through and transform your energy. Suzan's eyes were dark. The huge pupils turned to the two human masters who were still unconscious. Naturally, they were not captured for the sake of looking good. The method to speed up the breakthrough and transform energy has to fall on these two people. Xu Zonggung and Li Wanshan slowly opened their eyes, and waves of severe pain suddenly shot through their bodies, as if they were being run over by a large truck. Bones were broken, internal organs were shattered, and the whole body was covered in blood. If it weren't for the Wajin Grandmaster's strength that has been trained to the internal organs and has extremely powerful vitality, an ordinary person would have died long ago. The two of them were suddenly shocked. They all saw each other's embarrassment. I remember, we were fighting the giant python before, and then we were caught by the giant python one after another. Why are we here instead of falling into the mouth of the giant python? Xu Zonggung held his head in severe pain, puzzled. Li Wanshan wasn't much better. Also confused, he only remembered that when he saw his friend alive and dead, all the fear and anger in his heart exploded, and he rushed towards the giant python, but the gap was too big, and he was crushed in an instant. When he woke up again, he was right here, in an unknown dark cave. Could it be that, we were rescued? There is an unparalleled alchemy master hidden here who happened to be passing by. Xu Zonggung murmured to himself, and Li Wanshan couldn't help but nodded slowly. This may be one of the most likely scenarios. They couldn't help but think like this. The giant python was really too ferocious, and they didn't think the giant python would spare their lives. At this time, a deep voice full of majesty slowly sounded. Woke up. The two of them were suddenly shocked. Realize that your suspicions are likely to come true. He quickly braced himself and looked in the direction of the sound. Xu Zonggung, Li Wanshan, thank you senior for saving your life. However, as soon as the words fell, the eyes of the two people gradually became dull, and they saw a huge thing slowly appearing in the darkness, which made their hearts suffocate. Where is the senior Dan Jin? What appeared in front of me was not the giant python, but who was it? No, it's even more terrifying than that giant python. The bodies that circled together were even bigger and more fierce than the previous giant python. The two of them felt dizzy. For a moment, they didn't know whether this was the true size of the giant python, or whether the giant python had become terrifying again in a short period of time. Growth of. They would rather be the former, otherwise it would be too terrifying. But right away, the two of them froze and reacted. The one who spoke just now, that was you. The two human masters took a breath together, and the horror in their eyes almost turned into reality. A giant python spitting out human words. This is simply like a myth coming into reality, which is unbelievable. Suzan looked at the stunned two people, and the evil taste in his heart was immediately greatly satisfied. He has been hunting alone. For him with a human soul, he occasionally needs a little adjustment. There is still a different kind of fun in scaring the two masters. But, it's still business that matters. Suzan slowly moved his body, and the whole picture was displayed in front of the two people, filled with a strong sense of oppression. The amusement in his pupils gradually disappeared and became filled with coldness. He didn't open or close his mouth, but a dull and majestic voice sounded. Of course it's me. According to you humans, this should be called ventriloquism. It shouldn't be a difficult skill for you too. Their bodies trembled subconsciously. Ventriloquism. They had a deeper understanding of the horror of the giant python before them. It is indeed not difficult for strong humans to master ventriloquism, because the innate human body structure and the ability to speak are convenient, but you are a python. This moment, the two knew that the giant python in front of them was far beyond Xu Xiqing's imagination. That kind of intelligence is far smarter than most humans. Xu Zonggung looked at Suzan and had the illusion that he was living a thousand years ago. According to ancient records, the world had not changed greatly a thousand years ago. At that time, there were still monks and there were many monsters. The giant python in front of me looks like a monster from thousands of years ago. 
It's just that he doesn't have magical powers. Li Wanshan took a deep breath, his eyes full of fear. Hey Emperor, what exactly do you want to do? He had an ominous premonition. To capture the two of them without killing them is definitely not a small plan. At this time, the two people were seriously injured and had no resistance at all. Su Zan smiled brightly and got straight to the point. It's simple, I need your knowledge, about martial arts, about everything. There was a cold light in his pupils. Su Zan knew so little about this world that he didn't even know whether he was reborn or traveled through time. These two people are a good opportunity. Not only does he want to know the secret technique of accelerating the breakthrough of energy in the subsequent realm of national martial arts, but he also wants to know more information about this world. If I am really reborn, maybe. I still have a chance to go back. There were ripples in Su Zan's heart. But he thinks this is unlikely. The greater probability is parallel time and space. Don't even think about it. Hearing Su Zan's words, the two of them were shocked. A giant python was actually coveting human knowledge. At this moment, they felt chills all over their bodies and subconsciously yelled out. But they apparently forgot their situation. Su Zan opened his mouth, his ferocious fangs were like sharp swords, and he sneered. It's not up to you. Just now he was thinking about how to get accurate information from the two people, and now he suddenly had an idea. Two people, just right. Su Zan's voice gradually became emotionless. I know that among you humans there is a saying called brotherhood, and I just want to see if your friendship is really as strong as you imagine. I will ask you individually. Whoever says the right thing will have hope of living. Of course, anyone who doesn't say anything can still try. Xu Zonggung and Li Wanshan felt hairy all over their bodies. Looking at Su Zan's eyes was like looking at a demon. It was unimaginable that a giant python could know human strategies. A simple strategy, but it requires an extra understanding of human beings. Just for a moment, the two of them instinctively had a crisis of trust, and even looked at each other with suspicion and hesitation. You monster. Su Zan obviously wouldn't give them time to figure out the code. Then let's start with you. He said coldly, and then pressed the python's tail with just the right amount of force. Li Wanshan, who had just woken up, suddenly fainted again, while Xu Zonggung looked at the extremely terrifying python in front of him with a horrified expression, like a demon. Xu Zonggung wanted to be tough, but he was so weak that he didn't even have the ability to commit suicide. Maybe you want to taste your own flesh and blood, or maybe it's his. Xu Zonggung's body trembled, and he finally said decadently. What do you want to know? Just ask. The secret technique of accelerating the breakthrough of energy, don't lie to me, I will confirm what he said. Xu Zonggung even gave up his unrealistic fantasies and honestly began to talk about his knowledge of Chinese martial arts. After a while, Su Zan knocked Xu Zonggung unconscious and then woke Li Wanshan up. It's your turn. Follow the same rules. Li Wanshan also did not resist. After knocking the two of them unconscious again, Su Zan couldn't help but feel excited. He didn't expect it to go so smoothly. He obtained two secret arts. One is the sound of tiger and leopard thunder. One is called Big Toad Chi. Thanks for watching subscribe and support my channel.